बिस्मिल्लाम हेलो गर्ल्स गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ डॉक्टर खस्तुगी गवर्नमेंट गर्ल्स हाई स्कूल आई एम मुश्फिका अख्तर चौधरी हियर एंड आवर टूडेज क्लास इज फॉर क्लास एटी स्टूडेंट्स एंड टूडे वी आर गन आई रीड इंग्लिश फॉर टूडे So dear girls at first look at these pictures aren't they beautiful yeah these are some pictures of pearls so guess what we are going to do today yes our today's topic is unit 7 different people different occupations and lesson 1 pearls 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 and lesson 2 the emma divers so at first we are going to read lesson 1 that means pearls 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 after the class we will be able to read and understand text write answers to questions and write down the main ideas in our own words dear girls there are some new words that that we may encounter in our lesson and our first word is mythology do you know what's the meaning of mythology mythology this word comes from the word myth and its meaning is a collection of myths associated with a particular culture our second word is dissolved and dissolved means melt to reduce to liquid form our third word is delicate do you know what is the meaning of delicate yes it means very frail easily damaged okay and fourth word is unparalleled it means radically distinctive and without equal which is not parallel okay now we have a reading text and we have to answer some questions after completing the text so dear girls let's read the text thousands of years ago the first pearl was probably discovered while human beings were searching for food at the seashore throughout history the pearl with its shine has been one of the most highly valued gems pearls have been mentioned many times in religious text and mythologies from the earliest times the ancient egyptians valued pearls so much that they were buried with them it is said that the famous queen of egypt cleopatra would dissolve a pearl in a glass and drink it as a sign of love and respect for the entire nation the greeks thought of pearls as a sign of wealth and social position the beauty of pearls was associated with love and marriage in ancient rome pearls were considered the greatest sign of wealth and social status at that time the young women of noble families loved to wear beautiful pearl necklaces the brave knights used to wear them in the battles for good luck my dear students this is the reading text i hope you have no problem in this text let's go to the questions and answers okay so our first question is do you think pearls were discovered by accident why dear girls what do you think do you think pearls were discovered by accident let's see the answer yes pearls were discovered by accident while people were searching for food at the seashore next question question number 2 why do you think pearls were valued so much in the past people in the past valued pearl very much because pearl 
was one of the most highly valued gems in the past. It was mentioned as sign of good luck, wealth and status in mythologies. And our third question is, what good luck the knights thought would pearls bring them? Can you answer the question dear girls? Yes, they thought of good lucks in battles. So the answer is, the knight thought pearls would bring them good luck in the battles. And these are the questions and answers for this passage. Now, we have a table to fill up. Here we have uh, some clues about who's and we have to find out when and where the activities are done. The ancient Egyptians wore pearls. Dear girls, you have to write when and where. The Greeks wore pearls when and where. The ancient Romans wore pearls when and where. The brave knights wore pearls when and where. My dear students, you have to do this activity all by yourself, okay? So, uh, let's move to the next part of the class. We have already completed lesson 1 and now we are in lesson 2 and the title of the lesson is The Emma Divers. Okay, before going through the next lesson, we have some pics to watch and the first one is of a diver in water. Dear girls, can you see the picture? So, let's go to the next one. In the second one, there are lots of people and they are diving in the sea with baskets in their hands. It, is, it seems that they are going to collect something. In the third picture, there are oysters and pearls collected from the sea. Now we are in lesson 2 and we have another reading text in page number 76. My dear students, you have to read the text silently. Hope you all have finished reading the text. Now tell me, what is the text about? Yes, the text is about a, a group of people called Emma Divers. And where did the people get the pearls from? The people got the pearls from the ocean. Dear girls, we are in lesson 2 part B and we have another reading text about the Emma Divers of Japan. At first we have to read the text, then we can discuss it with our partners or friends and then we have to answer some questions that follows. Okay, so let's read the text first. In some fishing villages along the coast of Japan, there are amazing groups of women known as Emma Divers. These women worked and are still working as Emma. The word Emma means woman of the sea or sea women. They are independent divers. They make their living by diving. They can dive to the depth of the sea up to 25 meters and they dive without using oxygen tanks or other breathing equipment. The Emma divers rely on their own skills and breathing techniques. They use that skill and technique to push themselves down to the bottom of the sea and back to the surface again. They can hold their breath for up to two minutes. Carefully watching, lung capacity and hunter instincts are the special qualities of Emma divers. However, some of these young villagers are going to the city for other jobs. The remaining Emma divers are now aged between 50 to 60. But there are still some who continue to dive even at their 70s. If the young people do not take up Emma diving, soon this profession will die out. So dear girls, this is the last passage of our today's class and now we have some questions to answer. So let's look at the questions. Question number one. 
Why are the hemodivers amazing? Question number two. How deep can the hemodivers go down into the sea? Question number three. What techniques and skills do the hemodivers use in diving? And question number four. Why do you think are the young villagers going to the city? These are all the questions that we can answer from the passage that we have just read. So dear girls, you have to write down the answers in your copies and we will check it in the next class. Now it's time for homework. And our today's homework is, you have to write a short note on the Emma Divers in your own words. And this all from today's class. So my dear girls, these are all from today's class. Before going, let me remind you one more time. Situation is worsening day by day. So you have to be very careful about following the rules of health and you all know the rules of health very well. Okay. So stay healthy, stay safe, stay home. Goodbye for now.